Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to some more of our Assassin's Creed Origins Let's Play Adventure. We're at the Hippodrome, where we left off last time maybe a bit early. I thought that the last episode would be longer than it was. I intentionally recorded three episodes, but then the middle episode was too short, and then the third episode I took some stuff out of to pad the second episode, but then the third episode was too short. It was, it was a whole debacle. It was like this whole big deal, and look... We're at the Legion Hippodrome. That's all that matters right now. Let's stop, let's stop focusing on the past. Let's focus on the present. And right now, we're looking for... What are we even looking for right now? Some dude. Uh, Apollo... Apollodrilus. Apollodrilus. I don't know. Some guy here at the Hippodrome. Right there. He's not even actually in the Hippodrome. I want to throw that out there. I went through all the effort of running to right here. And he's like 100 meters away. That's rude. That's rude. If my wife says you're going to be here... You ought to be here. She said that's the last thing she said in the, at the end of the last video. Go to the Hippodrome. Here I am. Where's this guy? There's the Hippodrome. Here he is. Maybe I'm being a bit too upset about this. I sent me to speak to Apollodorus. Oh, maybe this isn't him. I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. So this is just one of his. He can answer. I got all upset for nothing. My bad. I recommend you. Wait for tomorrow night. If he sees fit to meet you. You will find him near the lighthouse then. Wait, no, hold on. Wait, wait. Until then, the Hippodrome's commemorating one of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities, along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. I would much rather just go straight to the lighthouse, but I'm sure there's something to be done around here while we're waiting. Uh, we might as well just check in and see what everybody's up to. Like, what are you guys up to? What's up? Okay, well, something's happening now. What the Shrek? I didn't realize I was going to start a, a quest. Is it you? What? Bayak, you sour face one. <laughs> I, I am Claridas now. What are you doing here? Whoa. That's a bit aggressive. Icarus was a thousand times better than you. <laughs> didn't Icarus oh. melt because he got too close to the sun or something like that? Going to lead you greens now, this guy doesn't look like he's going to melt. I'm just throwing that out there. You think you can win the curses, Magnus? <laughs> Hot shit! <laughs> Leave Nicarus alone. Have his face in the... You get the point. Icarus' death was a dark day for all of us. Let him weep in peace. Never knows... Hey, look at mm, you stepped in the. Mm. So, What's up with the bullies in these games? They're always so. Uh, hey, I'm like alone. 10 years old. <laughs> I was just asking. I think that some, some Ubisoft like developers <laughs> have some. <laughs> no matter. Grade school slash middle high the issues they're trying to work out in hmm? these games. <laughs> this has been a great quest. I'm glad that we started it. This was fantastic. Can't wait to meet him at the tavern later? Uh, okay, well, that's another thing we can go do, I guess. Have, are we done at the Hippodrome? I think we're done at the Hippodrome. I mean, it's going to be a little while before sunset, though. So maybe we shouldn't rush. Oh, between episodes, I did my thing. I gathered up some more resources. So if we go to gear, we can probably make some new things. Like, if we wanted to, we could maybe not do anything actually uh, you might have noticed i did get some more leopard pelts though so that was good oh i did find a shield at some point as well that's a great shield we'll equip that shield good shield i love you what else do we have a new outfit what where oh oh cool we can dress like we're in the bathhouse now all the time i kind of like the lion gear but this one might throw people off right like this might make people a little bit like whoa hey what is this Keep this man away from me. He's a wild man. He's roaming the streets in towels for crying out. Towel around his waist, towel over his head. He's clearly not stable. I don't want to do combat with this guy. This could actually make the game a lot easier. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense. Who can say? What have we got up here that's new? I see that we've got some new bows that I'm just sliding past because the one I've got is fantastic. This one, I've, I've yet to find a bow better than that one. I mean, I don't understand the benefit of these light bowls. What are we doing with here with, in terms of damage? We're doing, uh, 187 damage. Well, this one's doing 197. Quality's down a bit. I don't know what that means. Uh, huh. Uh, char charging speed. Wait a minute. No, we why aren't we using this one? This one seems better. Adrenaline on kill. Ranged hit multiplier. Wait a second. Are we... Whoa! 
Whoa, whoa! 382 damage. Oh, a second. Okay, so maybe you have to be like rapid fire with this one in order to match the amount of damage. Unless slash S means per shot, but I don't know about that. I feel like I'm missing something here. Because this seems like it would be an obvious improvement to the one that we're using, but it's a level lower, the quality's a little bit lower, that damage is madness though. I'm going to equip it, we're gonna see how it does, and then after that I also want to try Morning Sun, which has a higher rate of fire. We're just- we're just trying things, we're just learning- oh my gosh, this is even more glorious than I could have imagined. We have two ability points, which I'm sure we could use for some interesting things. After getting a stealth kill with your bow, you have a three second window of slow-mo while still aiming with your bow! I mean, we don't actually have enough ability points for it, so we might just hold out and wait on that one, but that would be pretty cool. Anyway, we got time before sunset, so let's go do this old times thing. Why not? Claudius, an old friend from Siwa, now a champion in the Hippodrome, invites Bayek to catch up! 1,000 XP just to go talk to this guy in a tavern. Seems to me like that is the greatest XP sink. Uh, that's not a sink of XP, it's like a, a fountain. We found a fountain of XP. Like a faucet? Faucets pour into a sink, but we've stuck a cup underneath that faucet and we're catching that XP now. From the faucet of XP. You get the idea. Ooh, there's a papyrus that we can find nearby. Oh my gosh, I'm- Now look, some have made the claim that I'm too easily distracted in this game. I'm not gonna say that that's false. What I will say is if I can find a papyrus, I'm definitely going to stop whatever quest I'm following in order to pursue the potential of finding that papyrus and then finding the location that that papyrus might potentially lead me to. And if that's what you call distraction, then you're wrong. My gosh, this man travels really far from the Hippodrome to get a drink. Like, surely the Hippodrome seems like the kind of place that you could just buy a drink there. Maybe it'd be a little overpriced, kind of like when you want to get a hot dog at your sports ball game, but still. It <sighs> Oh, this outfit, though. That's exactly the facial expression I wanted from people when they saw me in this outfit. <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind, too. I had to. Claridas is a name better suited for the Hippodrome. <laughs> Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags. <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Oh, I technically haven't. I'm just on a revenge mm. quest. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. <laughs> the only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she this is an awkward conversation from a friend about my wife. Things change. Yeah. People change. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Bye. I need another drink. Look, I think that you're going to get drunk, and that's what's going to start this whole... Oh, no, he looks real sad, actually. Oh, are we doing a flashback? <gasps> are we going to... No, we're not doing a flashback. I thought we were going to do a flashback to young Bayek, and he's going to be riding the horses outside of Siwa, and his buddy's going to be like, I'm in love with your future wife, and we'd be like, no, and he'd be like, I'm going to go play in the Hippodrome. I should really be writing these things. And then, father, they'll get in a balloon to go around the, the world in 80 days! It'd be so and good! Need of a mighty racer. I'm only here to drink and forget. <laughs> Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. <laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring. Huh? If you must. Oh! Oh, I thought it was just gonna be like a, a long form cut. Why are we walking so slowly? How much have you drank, Bayek? Really? Also, I was kind of hoping it would just be. What? Where are you taking me, Senefa? Am I super Please, drunk right now? Claridas. I have not been Senefa in years. What is happening? Shrek me sideways, guys. Yep. This isn't drunk. This is drugged. They've done something to us. Why did you change your name? Hey, I know that kid. To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. What? So, a Greek name. This would be more effective, I think, if it were in the first your person. Your and your name, your home. See, Punch him. Was nothing to me. 
The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them. I eat and drink well on what I win. I think we're both drunk, and we're about to get into a half-naked fight in the streets. I'm half-naked at least because I'm wearing, you know, no towels. I don't know what this guy's excuse drunk. is. Put on some pants, you? sir. You're, you're a disgrace, <laughs> no, honestly. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. Oh, no. Are we about to go race in a hippodrome? Oh, I hope the answer to this is no. I, I, I can't be bothered. He was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? Yes, but then he melted near the sun because he was trying to push a rock up a hill. Look, maybe I'm a little bit loose on my Icarus knowledge, but I'm pretty sure that's close. Sorry, mate. Wait, hold on. What's going on? Can we just get to the Can we get to the point of this? Are we going to do a race or something? I'm confused. No, nothing's being explained to me. Our gods never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, I would have been mine. What? How dare you, you sir? Drunk. And Anas, you have no idea what I give up. This is what happens when you go drinking with oh, your old friends. You both get drunk, and you both go crazy. You always look down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. I'm pretty sure I am. I What's up with this woman in the background here? Just sort of stood I there. Found fame. At what cost? What is she doing? She's picking you her nose? Looks like she's yawning. Your name, your gods. She's bored. You trust this path. Is our conversation boring Maybe you, ma'am? brought me all the coin and can't I want. Whoa! Now, I mean, that sort of thing's okay in Australia, but come on. This is this is, this is Egypt, my friend. You can't talk you like that here. Was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? I can skip Enough. this. Like, there's a button to skip it. But I- Whoa! I called it! Half naked drunken fight. Yeah, I need I need to get the backstory. Uh, even if it's presented in a very uninteresting way, I've got to get it. All right, now we're gonna beat the snot out of him, and then we're gonna come to uh, out of our drunkenness, and he's gonna be like, "Someone needs to race in the hippodrome," and I'll be like, "I'll do it," and he'll be like, "Hey, I'm gonna race in the hippodrome." Oh, please tell me we're still wearing clothes. Yeah, okay, waking up together, drunk in the hay. Did we miss our meeting at the lighthouse? Has it been like a whole day or was this sort of a get drunk, fight, pass out, wake up an hour later sort of thing? Completely sober but kind of hungover. I'm not... That happens, right? You are oh. old. Time for me to dunk my head. Right on. The beer hits harder than you. What in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team? You Did really think you could roll onto the track and win races? Do we have like a no skill? Piss on you. What? Maybe I should seek this Nikias out and hear his offer. Is that the kid who was talking if to us on the balcony? Us, it can't be that hard. You might want to pray first. We could have done like you a really fun sort of um the Oh, the what's the name of that uh, the the hangover kind of moment decide. here? Where he woke up you and he's wearing like a golden crown, and I've got a we'll sick brooch, right and we're just like, "How did this happen?" Oh, that would have been good. That would have been way be better said. than this. Let the gods judge you in the hippodrome. Oh, I completed the quest though. Well, it was nice catching up with you. I'll see you at the hippodrome. So if we want to go back over here to the hippodrome now, we could do some races, and that that might be sick. But I think probably now would be a good a time as any to head over here to find this thing that we're doing lighthouse where is that where is that at it's probably going to be ah it's like literally right there how convenient honestly you there. i must be careful now what oh is there treasure here oh there's treasure to be looted right here right there what kind of treasure is right there i see literally no treasure I, well, maybe it's it's hidden somewhere? Oh, here we go. We're going to find that treasure, son. Found it. Booyah. Now we just have to get to it. Real sneaky-like. So first, we'll hide. And then we're going to shoot the... Oh, wait, no. This is shooting multiple arrows? Oh. Okay. I see why we're not using that one now. I don't see anywhere here where it would mention it's shooting three, but there are three arrows there, so that explains things. Light bow. I mean, if we're equipped the one that we had before, pretty good. This one does slightly more damage, has a rate of fire that's much higher, adrenaline on... I mean, let's just try it! I mean, I've, I've used the last one quite a bit. We can give this one a shot and see how it... What? The Shrek me sideways. Okay, so this is like rapid fire. Wow! Oh my gosh! 
I don't actually like this, though, is the only problem. Because it's wasting a lot of arrows. And I would much rather be able to, like, charge up my arrows. Than, like, rapidly... Whoa! Where'd this guy come from? Sir, this is none of your concern. I'm here to get some loot is all. And these guys... These guys attacked me, actually. If you want to get technical. I had my bow out and was pointing at them. At them but they actually shot first. So... I mean, I don't really want to fight this guy. He's a lot better. Oh, fudge! Get up, mate. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. There you go. Whoa, those were some moves. All right, let's just avoid this guy. Let's just slip right on past him, and we'll get this out of here. There we go. It's just a heavy blunt. That's all the treasure is. That's all it. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to go ahead. And actually, can we try to fight this guy? Let's get up here behind him, and we'll do our heavy attack. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay, and then we just keep hitting him. Keep hitting him until he is dead. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Well, he did just punch the air, though, so he's not as competent as one might think he is. Okay. And then there's just this last guy, so I say we go ahead and finish him off so there's no witnesses, except for literally all of the civilians and this guy, who we might leave alive. It depends on whether or not I can land a hit on him at all. Ah, uh, see, I'm real bad at combat still. Whoa, he's pretty good at the dodging. I'm not going to lie. He's pretty good at it. Okay, I can do that, too, though. I can do that, too. Oh, wow. Okay, no, actually, this guy's a lot better than we are. Look at how little damage I'm doing to him. Even when I hit him, I'm not doing enough damage. How do I... How do I deflect? That's not how you deflect. What if I pull out my shield first? I know I unlocked deflecting. Did that do it? That didn't do it. We're gonna die here. We're gonna run away is what we're gonna do. No! Stop focusing on him! That's gonna be the death of his Bayek. I need you to pay attention, sir. I think we could just swim this. Jump, sir! Wonderful. Now, the only way this could go bad is if a crocodile or perhaps a hippopotamus shows up. Either one of those could be equally devastating, or if they start shooting us with arrows. Control to dodge. Dar dive, I think. There we go. We're perfectly safe here. I watched this on Mythbusters. If you shoot a bow and arrow into the water, he immediately loses bow momentum. That might have been bullets, and it might have been proven false. I can't remember. I saw something that said press M, I think, to dive. Not helpful. Not helpful. We're, we're underwater. So, actually. But look at this. It's pretty much sunset now. I mean, it's got a little ways to go. But here we are where we're supposed to be. I think, yeah, he's only present at night. So this is good. This is suited us just fine. This gives us an opportunity to hop back into our gear. First off, let's get rid of... Oh, wait. What's this? Uh... Eh. It's a lower quality than what we're using, but it does a bit more damage, and it has bleeding on hit. But we also have instant charge, combo multiplier, and critical hit rate on the one that we're using. So, balanced weapon versus technical and deadly. You know which one I'm going for. I'm not technical at all. Plus, look how massive this sword is compared to Bayek. We're, we're not getting rid of that anytime soon. Anyway, what I was actually going to do was switch back to the Serpent Scourge, a fantastic little weapon that I've had a lot of success with. Light bows were fun. Oh my gosh, were they fun, but too much arrow wastage. Now, I think the M button allows us to take a nap until sunset, I think. Hopefully that's what's happening, otherwise it's just going to skip straight ahead to dawn, and I'll feel like a right silly Roger. Whoa! Instantaneously. Okay, well hopefully he's not disturbed by our lack of clothing. No one else has been so far. 